What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cannon Fodder, welcome back to Foundation, and we've started a new map. I was getting frustrated with some of the goings-ons of things, because, well, reasons. Um, and so, I have just, we, we started a new map. So, I have a few mods installed, I think. I'm not sure, I clicked the install button, it said they were there, but then they didn't... Yeah, anyway, whatever. If they show up, they show up, and if they don't, then... Nuts to it, right? Anyway, uh, for our new map, we are playing something recommended by a member of the community, uh, Pops. So if you are watching this on YouTube, then shout out to you, mate. If not, I'll see you in the next Twitch stream. It is worth noting that we are live on Twitch. The link for that is down in the description below. Uh, we've been told that we need to allow a little bit more room between buildings. So, uh, particularly large buildings, large S buildings like the Granary, for instance. Which I... understandable. Um, may have resulted in some of our pathing problems. No doubt. It's the name of a band. With Gwen Stefani as the lead singer. Am I showing my age yet? Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, so, starting a new map. It's, uh, what is it? It's called Denmark, and it's interesting. So, it's a bunch of islands. So, eventually, I don't know. So I, I put I laid out a goal for the last one and kind of got there. I want to say that my goal is to build bridges for this one, and I know that for some of it we definitely will have to. So there's going to be a bridge there. We're going to get to the iron. Um, possibly a bridge over to this island over here. I I don't know. But people are now joining, so let us use our. Ability to do things. And let's sell some berries. We have a new produce! Berries! Can't sign the... There we are. We can assign someone to market. Edward! Edward the berry tender. New quest. Build a granary. And then we need to wait for more people to arrive so we can build a transporter and other things. Hmm. And do I think I might need a warehouse as well at some stage? That one. But we need ten people. We've got nine newcomers. Soon to be something else. So, what? <clears throat> Three, six, seven. People are still arriving from. Somewhere? Like, this is going to be an interesting one to see where they come from, because... Does... Okay, so the map does kind of join here. Right. If you look at the granary from above, you'll notice how many trees they removed to build it. Oh, okay, I see what you mean, like... Yeah. So it's quite a large... Okay. Twitch chat just pointed something out. That's... Yeah, okay, no, I see that. Yeah. Huh. 
so we need to be aware of building footprints to cater for things like spiffing and thutf. <sighs> oh my goodness. Well, isn't that a bummer? That would explain a lot. Okay. Warehouse is the same, but not quite as large as the granary. So when placing the warehouse, I need to be aware of the I need to be aware of the building footprint, which is probably like. I'm assuming every building would have a footprint of some description. Which would interact slash interfere with villager passing. As well as... It's like when the, when the two, I guess you might say, hitboxes for the buildings collide. And the villager does have a path there. It goes, well actually hang on a minute, there's a building there so I can't get through despite the fact that there's a path telling me that I can. Right. So this is going to be less medieval city builder where things just sort of get built on top of one another and people have to sort of, you know, suck their gut in and move round corners at awkward angles and more of a carefully articulated city builder. <laughs> oh... Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, there's going to there's be a lot of huh now as, as, I, as things slowly start to click into place and make sense. Huh. They are coming from that direction. Yes, I got it right. They're coming from that direction. That's fantastic. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Come on, bring the stone. Bring the stone. You know you want to. Now I really want to play Banished again. <laughs> or, um... Oh, what's the other one? I uh, yeah, Rimworld. That's less of a colony builder, and you know, more of a how big can we build our house, and how epic can we make it look? Because I've seen some pretty cool room world builds. Um, there's a whole bunch. There's like a whole time lapse thing on YouTube of room world stuff. It's like you can do all these things with, you know, stuff. And the houses are already going up. Uh, I'm not going to put a house there. That's dumb. I'll put a little garden down instead or something. I don't know. Alright, so we need to unlock warehouse. Good. Ooh, keep. Keep me. More like Settlers 2. I don't know. I get the feeling that it's it's a lot like a lot of things, but also completely and utterly unlike anything else. If that makes sense.
So it's got that cutesy rustic effect of Banished. It's got the cartoon aesthetic of Settlers. Complete unplanned chaos like my mind. Um, and a few other bits and pieces scattered out through in there. I'll, I'll let other people sort of figure out what they are and identify them. Uh, let's put... You there, I think. Yeah, let's put that there. And then we're going to put the forester camp... Close by, but not too close. Right, okay. Pops has pointed out that Banish is an out and out survival game, which is true because you are literally fighting for survival the minute you enter the game. Whereas this is this is not really at all like that. Huh. Okay. Right. I see. Thanks, Elena. And welcome. Closest foundation came to banish was during the first implementation of bad weather. Some maps got really challenging, but overall in difficulty, foundation is more in line with Settlers 2. I, I need to go back and play the Settlers games again. I, re I really do. They made some fun games. Mm. Yes. But I think this time I think I should buy them. <coughs> of course, I buy all my games. <laughs> Totally, yeah, totally buy all my games. Yes, absolutely. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Need more wood. And probably more stone now. You're maxed out. People lacking space for housing. I mean, there's houses there. Wait, what's the desirability? Not great. There it is, there's another house. Two more houses, yes! Sweet! Crap buggy, like, ship's not really working. Used by the AI settlers two and three. Hmm. But not so detrimental to the game as, you know, like, placing your ship, your fishing ports around the wrong way and everyone sort of making, like, a certain messiah and walking on water. Speaking of which, can someone in the chat tell me whether or not I'm able to place fishing things on, like, these cliff bits in this map? Because that's the one thing that I didn't... I 
there's fish out here, so... Maybe? I might want to be closer to the fishing areas, actually. And there's one there. There's one out here. I really should have looked for that before I placed my village down. Looks like it's berries, wheat, and cheese, guys. We're all going to be suffering from a lack of omega-3 fatty acids. Ooh, 2020 new settlers. Hey, that's amazing. Let's talk some more about that at the end of the episode, which is now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.